I'm starting off with foundation and I am applying a lot of it because what I'm trying to achieve, achieve is um, perfect skin, flawless skin. And doing so with the um, brush gives me a more a flawless and uh, full coverage face. Now I'm priming my eyes and bringing it to the lower lash line. Join with the same effect. I want to create uh, as much as a, of a flawless canvas as I can. I'm going in with my concealer using it as a highlighter. I'm just using the yellow from the HD uh, concealer from NYX, uh, again just to keep highlighting the under eye and other areas that I want to highlight. This is definitely a full coverage face, so if it looks like it's a lot of products, that's because it is. Now I'm just patting my entire face with a setting powder. Now I'm just going to go in with this dual fiber from Mor Morphe, the M436, and I am contouring my face. I'm adding clear brow gel from Anastasia just because I want to keep my brow hairs in place. The effect I was going for with my brows was just more of a natural um, effect. Dolls really don't have defined thick brows so um, later on I'm just going to very lightly fill them in. Uh, right now I'm just contouring my nose just because I cannot go without doing that. Um, I am doing a different effect though. I am trying to give myself a button nose. Now using this dense brush and black shadow, I am intensifying and kind of creating a new crease on my eye as I'm trying to give the effect of a doll eyed look with bigger eyes. Definitely I start off with tracing how I want to shape out my eyes and then you'll see me darken, darkening it in um, with the shadow. I'll keep doing that same step once I got the base down um, I will deepen the shadow and then blend any harsh lines and then I'll continue to do this step until I get the desired um, intensity. If you are trying this look, I definitely recommend that you uh, give yourself enough time, be patient, and um, this will look like a big hot mess and like you're doing this wrong when you keep going in back and forth with the, with the shadow, but I promise you that if you keep blending and you keep adding color, blending it out, eventually once you finish the look, it will complete the look.
Now I'm going in with this. It's actually a Jordana pencil. It's a 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil and it is in white. And I'm definitely adding it to my to the entire lid and I'm also bringing it down to into my waterline and my whole entire covering the entire lash line. I'm cleaning up the um, black shadow making sure that I'm creating the lid. I'm going in with this pencil brush just to clean it up and then now just with a white eyeshadow I'm patting it all down because since it is a cream pencil that I use I'm just setting everything down with powder. This is just me going in and just creating little brow hairs um, just to define a little bit more my eyebrows. With this uh, palette from Tarte using the shade Doll, I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. Now I'm just going in with the Benefit Lower Lash Mascara and it's just to uh, apply a little bit of mascara to my lashes. And then I'm going in with lashes. Now these lashes were really tricky to put on and I had to kind of wiggle them around because they had a very thick band. Now I'm applying the lower lashes and right onto the black shadow that I applied which would be my new lower lash line that I created. I'm going in with this NYX pencil lip, lip liner um, in the shade Hot Red and to be honest I was actually pretty disappointed because I thought it was going to be a brighter red and it really wasn't. But it was okay because I just go in with a liquid lipstick. Um, this is also from NYX and it's their new liquid suede. Uh, I'll put the shade color um, at the bottom. Now I was just trying to create a little small pouty little doll like lip. Just cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer on the end edges. Now going in with this template that I got, I'm applying it to where I feel I want it placed. Once it's stuck on, I'm just going over that template with the white pencil. Making sure I am including all the little ridges because after I'm done with that then I go in with the black eyeliner and I will retrace that and start creating the I guess the broken lines now I'm just filling in that 
hole with that pencil covering that hole entirely. I'm just going over those lines just to create create them darker and a little more prominent and longer. This is me setting that with eyeshadow. Now I'm just applying the other stencil and then doing and following the same steps as prior. This one was a little bit trickier because I was using the same stencil I used before. So it wasn't as tacky as it was initially. So it kind of did give me a little of a hard time, but I managed. I'm filling it in and then I'll set it again with powder. And this completes the look. Thank you so much for watching.